peace, 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 love and light, grand rising, afternoon or evening, whenever you see this video. Thank you for joining me. I'm Beyond the Spectrum, and I am going to be doing a new moon energy read to see what energies are going to be coming in for us, Starseed Collective here, um, with this new moon. So with that said, I'm going to get started. I'm going to try to pull in the highest vibration Vibrational energies, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, and Metatron. Thank you for being here. Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene. Thank you for being here, guiding us through this reading. What energies will be coming through with this new moon? And what things should we be working on as Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines here at this time? The high, well, hey now. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you for guiding us through these interesting times here on planet Earth. We could seek your, I seek your guidance. And those who click on and watch are seeking your guidance as well. These have been really interesting energies coming through. Queen of Nagas came out, but I'm going to um, shuffle a little bit more here and center myself. What energies... This new moon in Cancer. It's a double Cancer. New moon in Cancer. Cancer, new moon in Cancer. So a double Cancer. Two crabs, twin energy. Already feeling it at this time. Okay. Wow, Ishtar keeps coming out. Ishtar. She came out in another reading as well. Ishtar. And then we have the Pearl of Sharo. Oh, that energy. And I will read these as well. Okay. If I can figure out what I just did with the book right here. This is a white light, white light oracle. So this is, to me, the lion's gate that's coming up in August. A significant shift is happening in August. Some way, shape, or form, and energy. The Lion's Gate is opening. It's a, um, a Stargate, number 44, 888. The Lion's Gate. Um, the Three Kings, Orion's Belt. I'm feeling a lot of Orion energy, star system, star family as well. All right, let me read this. Stand by. Stand in your sovereignness. You know, look up how to stand in your sovereign being. Detach from anything you don't remember signing up for at this time that isn't in of the divine love and divine light. Your heart has brightened, has brightened connection with the higher realms of consciousness and light. A blessing, empowerment, and positive omen shall enter your world. Doors will open for you. Abundance and prosperity are ahead of your way. Take care of your heart. Ask for spiritual assistance and it shall be granted. Something negative is going to transform into something positive. With the 40, with the 44888. And then, let me look up this oracle. 35, which is another 8. So we have a lot of 8s already. That, that omnipresence that we are connected with all things there is no separation taking responsibility for your experience empowers you you are going to resolve an issue through spiritual inspiration and higher guidance you will rise up and feel con in full connection to your spirit and access a wealth of divine treasure um, that which has brought darkness into your world shall submit to the light and to be transformed have courage and, and commitment to your awakening, for you are the precious being and can go far on a spiritual path this lifetime. This is a rise of manifest and shine with radiant spiritual light. Sharo is the outcome of sacred alchemy. It is the manifestation of the pearl beyond price, created in a depth of the ocean, hidden away in a clamshell, away from prying eyes, 
This pearl symbolizes a beautiful blessing of unexpected grace. It begins with an irritant caused, causing the formation of a luminescent coating. The healing response to that initial intrusion results in an organic creation of inestimable beauty, value, and uniqueness. So this pearl can be a sacred catalyst. So maybe you're someone's awakening many are awakening at this time wow that's beautiful inner work so you're, you're transforming you're in in this gate this lion's gate as well is going to be very transforming for the collective and then we have spirit of the bear i'm going to read that one it's not the first time that's come out either the spirit of the bear which is a 15 which is a six and it suggested that you listen to the 396 hertz Okay, you can look it up on YouTube. They have those those frequencies. It's a frequency shift that's happening. We are in a very pivotal frequency shift. And you are on a path of awakening. You are on a path of greatness. Spiritual bear. You are being healed from guilt and fear. Such emotions will no longer steal your personal power or disillude you from confidence, happiness, and realizing your own worth. No matter how unlikely it is, may seem, you are going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. This divine, divinely ordained time for your liberation, healing, and emergence is much closer than you realize. Abundant blessings are stirring and shall soon manifest. And I was saying that this transformation of oneself and from the darkness into light. The frequency of 396 hertz is deeply nurturing and protective. It is the heart frequency of the universal mother protecting, sorry, one second, protecting her young, deflecting negativity and refusing to overly condition the youthful mind. She looks out for them and provides warnings lest they wander too far from their authentic path. But she also encourages the child to learn who they are, to courageously explore their world, and to enjoy their freedom. Irrespectively of our personal experience with our biological mother, the Divine Mother energy is in the soul, is loving, protective, available, and kind. This inner mother loves and en loves enable us to develop our own sense of personal value goes back to self-worth standing in your sovereignty as a sovereign spiritual being here having a temporary human experience so this frequency harmonizes beautifully with the spiritual medicine of the bear soul totem it encourages our natural ability to find the sweetness in life necessary to sustain hope and heal our hearts the spirit bear connects to us in the restor restorative power of the hibernation that deep rest of the body and mind. If you are highly strung, and like many modern people find it hard to consciously relax your body and mind through spiritual practices, Spirit Bear brings a comfort and encouragement to allow your mind to rest within the body. If it, it, it is as if the mind were a cave for a renewal safe from predators and external forces, undisturbed and able to rest, this oracle urges you to go within where there is a tremendous healing force awakening. Give it time and space. It needs to do its best work for you. So you are, you know, we are in a healing process. Maybe you're, you know, going through some inner healing as well. That's beautiful. Huge transformations with this harmonic shift that's going on. Fear nothing. Lord says, be not afraid, my child. Be not afraid. Okay, my guides, what other suggestions do you have for the collective at this time for this healing process? For the Starseed Collective that's here to help raise the consciousness of humanity, the divine um, divine contracts, the, the, the twin souls that are here, sacred unions. What messages do you have for the sacred unions that are coming together at this time? Divine animals. Which I'm surrounded by them right here. Divine animals, another lion. Lion's Gate is very pivotal. You could be connected with Lyra as well, Starseed. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, your soul tribe, your, your vibe and your tribe. Your vibe and your soul family. Your soul family is around you. You're connecting with them through your sleep, in your dreams, your daily mantras. If you're not, your soul family wants to connect with you. Maybe you're seeing certain animals that are really noticeable to you that you keep seeing over and over again. Look those up. What do they mean spiritually? Those are your guides. Those are the little nudges the universe gives us to you know to to look things up to see where we're at spiritually i mean look at this card it's beautiful just figure out what i did with this book here soul family is 36 which is a 10 may come maybe you're coming into your soul family now right so, yep and then 22 which is a four bringing in stability you're coming into your soul family, your soul tribe, your vibe and your tribe. Maybe twin, you know, your twin soul is, you know, you're finally coming together, which is going to bring in spiritual stability. It gets very, the twins are here to help raise the consciousness of humanity with divine love. As I said that, it was 1122 on my timer. Okay, let me just look these up. Thirty-six. Okay, soul families, you are loved and supported. The star family is here. Your soul family wants you to know how much you are loved and how well you are doing. Your soul family consists of other souls that have similar values and ideas to you. The bright circle of light at the center of this image is Shambhala. Think of it as a meeting place where your soul family gathers to connect with you. When you ask a question, it energetic, its energy vibrates through the universe, bringing souls and their light beings to Shambhala to share res responses and information. They are overjoyed to connect and co-create with you. Your questions and experience on earth move you and them to expand awareness about love, life, and purpose. If we go back far enough in time, there was a point when all was connected, where all was one. As time progressed, as energy was released, and the source was separated, we all originated from the source. So whatever form the members of your soul family take, you will recognize them. So you're recognizing some of your soul family at this time, because they are part of you. We know it in our hearts when we encounter a member of our soul family, even if we can't explain it. We often refer to this as a meeting of, of a soulmate. Remember, a soulmate can come in many, in many guises, a lover, a friend, a partner, a child, or an animal. And we have a lot of animal spirits here. And turn up when you need to remember that, lo th that the love that you are, because you are love and you are light. You are the divine spark. There is no separation, even though it feels that way. Divine animals. I love that these two came out together. Oh, thank you so much. I love my guides. I just, they blow my mind all the time. It makes me laugh. It makes me happy. <laughs> it's, been, it's such a gift. So beautiful. Soul companions on your journey. Spend time with your pet or in the company of an, any animal to release to realize the same light that flows through you flows through all living creatures. See, we are connected. Everything is connected. Just go back to Master Yoda. Everything is connected. There is no try. There is do and do not. There is no try. We all create different containers for our soul experience depending on our individual desires and dreams. Human experience greater contrast than greater contrast than animals that is why our influence and creations are wider reaching however this is also makes it easier for us to split and stray from our hearts animals ref reflect the divine love that we are when we are around animals it's easier to move into alignment where we can be inspired to to grander creations people often believe they receive unconditional love from an animal and that we do 
An animal is more likely to be aligned with its soul instinct and doesn't need you to be different to who you are for it is a free for it to feel loved. You will feel free to be who you are. When you emulate this behavior for yourself, life becomes more relaxed, loving, and a relationship will catapult to a whole new level of joy. And also, maybe have an, I feel, you know, this is about shape-shifting. And yes, that's a very real thing. We do it in our sleep, in our dreams. Um, maybe you're experiencing that. It might be freaking you out a little bit. Look it up. Research it. It's, you know, we're, we're not talking about this 3D world. You know, this is way bigger than a 3D world. Everything is supernatural. The 3D world is the illusion. And, and a lot of changes are going on for us to see this at this time. Okay, so the new moon in Cancer. What healing energies should we, what should we be working on as a divine collective here? A time for healing. Clearly, there's a message of healing. A time for healing. Can we go deeper with this message, guys? Well, <laughs> all right, then. Bring love into the situation, whatever's going on with you. We have Sagittarius energy as well. Luck is on your side, and that's a new moon. I'm not going to take all these, but I will. The answer you need is coming, and this is Gemini energy, twin energy. Adjustments are required. Okay, so I'm going to put these back, though, because that was crazy wild. So we're, we're heading into a deeper healing. Maybe things are feeling very chaotic to you and spaced out at this time. <clears throat> Meditate. Um, put this right here right now. Meditate. Do some of your Tai Chi, you know, feel your energy, feel your Chi. Okay, so we have a time for healing. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, you are good enough. If you are feeling lack, Raphael is around you helping you heal. Raphael is with you at this time. Thank you, Raphael. Okay. I'm going to do this moon deck as well. What guidance can you give the collective at this time for healing? What other messages do you want to share with the collective at this time? their guides. My intention is always, I hope this resonates with whoever clicks on it and whatever you're going through at this time, that there is always a solution for what's going on. Fear blocks us. There's always a solution. There's always another way, a high vibrational way. Stay in your faith. Trust the process. Okay, my guides. What other suggestions can we give the divine unions? Let's talk about the divine unions coming together. What heal what more healing has to take place for this to occur? Way too many. I free myself from critical thoughts toward my body and, and my worth. Someone is definitely going through a lot of self worth issues. I unleash my wildness and choose to be free with the moon, okay? I trust the change unfolding in my life. You're definitely awakening to more. You're seeing things differently. I trust my the mystery of life. You may be seeing a lot of birds. This goes back to spirit animals. A lot of Native energy, Native American energy around as well. It is the 400 year anniversary of the Wampanoag and um, the pilgrims coming over here to America. My dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible. You are experiencing significant dreams, significant past life memories as well at this time. We are the honeybees here. Honeybees are Gaia's vibration. Bees work as a collective. They work together. We are coming together in a vibration. It's a harmonic shift. Collaborating brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. Okay, this is a harmonic shift. Make sure you watch, you do a conscious eating, maybe do a cleanse as well. 
nourish your body properly. Be careful how much, you know, sweets and junk you're eating. Because that can bring you really down as well. I'm here and oxidize your blood. Greens. A lot of greens. Get back to the basics. Back to the basics, I'm here. Before all these other stuff, was it like it came invented, I guess, you know, like your gardening, you would eat from your garden versus going to the store and buying a bunch of junk, things like that. I'm, I'm getting from my guides. Okay, one more card. Can we just have at least one card? Not all of them. What messages do you have for the collective, my guides? Okay. I live each moment with a presence of gratitude. A lot of cards want to come out. There's a there's a lot of energy here for the collective. A new birth. You're, you're in a new birth right now. We're in a birth. We are in a canal. We are in a stargate. You are celebrating your lineage and honoring your ancestors. You're connecting with your ancestors at this time as well. Because the ancient ones are definitely here. You're loving yourself completely. Again, freeing yourself from critical thoughts and unle it's all the same ones came out again. Movement awakens my creative spirit. I'm ready to think and I'm, I'm ready. Thank you. So you are at a cusp of a birth, a rebirth. You're ready. I'm feeling, you know, I, I had channeled like the world's fear. Everything was ready to burst. Okay, star seed, oracle. We are definitely, okay, so the new moon with the lion's gate coming up, I think within like two weeks, what's coming toward us with this lion's gate. Okay, you snuck in there. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? That doesn't even, this card doesn't even belong in here. What are you clinging on to? Towel moment maybe happening in your world, you know, um, could be anything really right down to organizing your house. What are you clinging on to? Clear out the clutter, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. So this healing can take place. So you can ascend and elevate, you know, release low vibrational things that don't longer serve you anymore. You know, relationships, people, places, things, habits. We are. This whole Gaia is going through a shift. Mother Gaia is shifting. Nibiru is here. It is waking us up as a collective. Whale and or, or whale and orca elders share your song frequency of sound. It's a, it's a shift in frequency is happening. The shift in frequency is happening. Jump in. Andromeda energy adventure. Say yes to the change. Say yes to this change. Do not be afraid. It's okay. You got the love. Hen Hendarian energy, codependency. Maybe you, you know, you've been in a codependent situation. It's time to release that. Know your worth. Know you are worth a higher love. You are a star seed. You're empathic as well. Stand, and this goes back to energetic sovereignty, absorbing what is not yours. Stand in your sovereignty, your truth. Loosen your grip on whatever's around you. It's not serving your highest good. The great severing, okay? We are had a great severing. Sever what no longer serves you. It just keeps, you are healing at a cellular level. Inner earth, you'll survive this. No so new solutions and beginnings, and I started out this reading with that. There is always a solution. We will survive whatever's going on with this planet. Someone is writing past wrongs at this time. Maybe you're going through that. Maybe you're clearing out the wreckage of your past as well. Okay. I'm going to pull some tarot on this. Okay, my guides, let's pull some tarot on this healing energy that's coming in 
the divine feminine and divine masculine star seed twin soul connections sacred connections sacred connections for the star seed collective the three waves that came in to help humanity what messages do you have for the three waves that came in to help humanity okay way too many We have someone with <clears throat> new beginning, leap of faith. You're reviewing that the seeds you've planted, you're reviewing some things in life. Ten of cups, that's beautiful. Maybe you have a family. And then you have this, but there's a huge transformation coming with that. There's a huge transformation coming with the seeds that you have planted. You're, t you're learning the changes that you've gone through. See the butterflies? It's all about metamorphosis. You've changed. Something's changed about you. You're reviewing this. You're reviewing a love. Ten of Cups. Maybe it's toxic. Something toxic going on in your life at this time. We got trickery. Seven of Swords. We got some trickery and deceit happening at this time, which has brought that transformation on in the lovers. <clears throat> okay, so maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, you were in a relationship where there was some trickery and deceit. Six of Wands moving. <clears throat> you're, you, you, you're standing your ground. You're seeing from a different perspective. You're seeing things from a way different perspective. Six of Wands is recognition victorious or oh, maybe you've already come out of this toxic situation or you're going through this at this time or you will be going you thought this was a ten of cups and it it wasn't what you felt or it shifted because of trickery and deceit okay what advice can we give this person whoever I'm picking up on the collective <clears throat> I mean, because we have temptation here in the Seven of Swords. That is usually cheating. My liar, cheat, which brought in a huge shift, or will be bringing a huge shift in your journey. Well, maybe, again, you've already gone through this. They are bringing in a higher love, your twin. You're from the same star family, Lyra, lions. Lions are coming out all over this spread. So I'm picking up on Lyra energy <clears throat> from Orion's belt as well. The emperor has much knowledge, has gained much knowledge, has lived many lifetimes here. You're very intuitive. You definitely have birds around you. That you're you're noticing. Something about the birds that you're noticing. Seven of Wands. You've been through a lot. Or you may be going through a lot at this time. You trust in your instinct, something that you're not seeing yet, but your guides are speaking to you, nudging you along. Forever how that resonates for you. You are shielded. You are protected at this time. Someone, okay, so somebody's hanging on, clinging on to something that is no longer working anymore. Okay, we have Page of Swords, which is my I Spy card. Someone's watching you or you're watching someone. This is the Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is coming in with a lot of energy, some clarity, truth. All right, I want to use... Um, where to go? Okay. I haven't used this deck in a while. I'm going to... 
Okay, there's a lot of cards in this little deck. Alright, my guides. What is the Seven of Swords about here? What's been the deception? Maybe you're deceiving yourself as well. You know, we can absolutely do that to ourselves. Convince ourselves something that's just not working out anymore. Whether that be, again, people, places, and things. But if you, it's the lovers are here, so it's a definite relationship. Okay, what's to, what's to come with the collective and the twins? What's to come on the twin journey? What unions are coming together? Okay, we have Aquarius. Element water, firefly, okay. We have air, okay. Within two to four weeks, something is going to shift with you emotionally. You are definitely tapped in to your emotions. You are compassionate. You are, you know, this is a, a, something coming together. Something's been illuminated on your journey. Okay, and it's divine. Okay, the 11, the firefly. Something's been illuminated to you, for you, within you. Maybe you started something big change happened in February or June. Okay. Um, or maybe something's coming up in October as well. Queen of Air, Queen of Swords. She sees the truth. She's kind of distant and cold. She's been through some things. But you come to her with the truth and the truth only. But I'm feeling this element of water. This is about love, a new love. This is a new the twin, uh, a new connection. Higher vibrational connection coming in. You understand each other on a way different spectrum than, than most would. All right, let's talk about this new person, these people coming together here. Leo, something's definitely coming in. Okay, this is another lion. Something's definitely coming in in August. That could be worldly for us as well, as, as a collective here on this planet with all the shifts and changes that are happening. Leo, I mean, I do feel another um, lockdown's going to happen. I feel like they're going to do that. Middle of the season, stubborn, conf someone feels stuck at this time. Okay, why do they feel stuck? What's going on? Why do they feel stuck? What? This is the lovebirds. Communication, negotiate, chat, or debate, discuss, nervous, text or phone call. Maybe your thoughts are all over the place. Maybe you're waiting on someone to contact you at this time. Something by August 18th, the number six, something's going to come forward toward the middle of August, Wolverine, unpredictable, power struggles, okay, so maybe you're going through this right now, maybe you're dealing with someone who's very unpredictable, they're a little power hungry. All right, what's coming forward in the Twin Collective? The Sacred Unions. A woman, Virgo, something coming, connection coming together maybe in September. Something's coming together in September. The person you know, someone you know. This person's hardworking, intelligent, Reserved and helpful, very earth energy, very grounded with Mother Earth, connected to Mother Earth. This is a very victorious situation. Handle with care. Something you have never, okay, it's something you have never experienced before. Look at the snowflake, it's very delicate. You're approaching this very carefully because it's so delicate. Free spirit, opportunity, embracing the unknown. This is a leap of faith. That's why it's so fragile. It's a leap of faith you're taking. 
We have Aries fire sign. Independent, aggressive, energetic leader. King of fire. So we have we have a king of fire here. You don't have to be that sign, but you have that energy of someone that is passionate, knows what they want, is going for it. You're creative. You int you're intuitive. You're opening up more to your intuitive abilities. You're definitely watching somebody. You're connecting with your person. You're getting rid of what you don't, what no longer serves you anymore. You're working on that because you have a new beginning coming in. Blended families are coming together or will be coming together. It's challenging. It's definitely challenging. This is not an easy journey. But this person is very loyal to you. You are loyal to each other. It's a process. Trust the process. You are definitely cutting out things that no longer serve you. I have the Sith here. Someone has been really sneaky. Very sneaky. Very deceptive. Goes back to Seven of Swords for me. Someone around you has been very sneaky, very deceptive. Maybe a Sagittarius. Could be. <clears throat> Got a lot of fire energy here. Or you're connected to a fire sign. Or you are a fire sign. <clears throat> you're persistently moving forward because there is a, there's a storm brewing. And we do. We have earthly stuff coming toward us as well. This is a 44. We have earthly. We have a cosmic storm heading our way. But you are working. You just keep pushing forward. You keep pushing forward. You're, you're not giving up. You're breaking free. You have strong emotions for someone. Or strong. You feel very connected to someone. They're aligned in the stars. This is aligned in the stars. You maybe communicate with them on social media. Maybe you watch them on social media. They're definitely part of your star tribe. Okay, divine masculine, divine feminine. What messages do you... Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to use the messages... To wrap up this reading divine messages because I'm definitely picking up on a twin connection here <clears throat> this is Stellara from divine time 1111 she's a really amazing reader and um, this is her deck of cards okay I'm gonna tap into the twins see where we're at in the collective through this new moon where are the twins at where are the twins at your ancestors and guides are absolutely around you. You're coming into your oneself harmonically. Definitely connected with the twins because this, I saw the twin flame card. Definitely connect in with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ace of Cups. This is real love. It's real true love. A higher love. That your family, you, you'll be, it's a family. It's a star family. Bringing it down into this realm. This relationship is truth. It's very, it's very a level of what you've never experienced before. A truth. You've gone through some loss or, or you might be going through loss at this time. You're working on your shadow side with this moon. Release. Release what no longer serves you. What messages from the 5D? What messages for the collective at this time, my guides? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine in the 5D. I have somebody out front of my house. What messages do you want to share so we can close this? message up that's weird i'm gonna wrap this reading up because i don't know if this is for me or not okay all right this is mystic moons um twin flame oracle 
See what messages Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine have for each other at this time. Definitely the healing card right at the bottom of the deck. Came right out. Healing. Maybe you're learning more about the chakras. Maybe you're learning more about all of this that you didn't realize was even part of this journey. I feel like there are some of you, yeah, because you're going through a dark night of the soul. You're having some regrets. Maybe communicating that with somebody as well. Divine feminine, divine masculine. What message? It, oh. Yeah, definitely connected to your soulmate. You recognize who this person is. The answer is yes. You might want to reach out and make an offer to them. You feel like you want to, but maybe you're nervous about doing that. You guys have done this many lifetimes. Many lifetimes. Maybe you're around someone that's unawakened. Maybe you're not awake yet. I feel like you're around someone that's not, or what was around someone that was unawakened, or maybe you were unawakened and now you're waking up. Or maybe you're not awake and you're watching this going, what, what is all this? Could be. Well, the twin journey is about the raising of the consciousness of humanity. We came here because souls were getting lost in the grid down here. And Gaia, Mother Gaia, Earth put a call out back in the 40s. It's been three waves have come through. That's why there's crystal children, there's indigo children. Humanity's done this six times, called in twin flames. This is not a new thing. You realize, I feel like you're realizing you might be one and you're doing some shadow work at this time. Someone's really working through some dark stuff right now, releasing what no longer serves them. Maybe you're having some dark dreams as well. Maybe you work, you know, in the shadows to bring the light for whoever that means for somebody. What are the messages from the fifth dimension for the twins? Something's going to come together in the fall. Fall is important. means something October, Halloween time. You're refocusing right now. You're pausing and you're refocusing. You're healing because you're awakening. I knew that was going to come out. You are awakening. You're releasing what no longer serves you. You're working on that. You're finding patience through these barriers that were put up. Okay, because you're realizing your self-worth. You're definitely watching someone or someone's watching you at this time. Because you're connected, I hear. Because you're really connected. Stop doubting it. I'm hearing stop doubting it. You're connected to this person. It's a divine connection. Okay, anything else? If this is a twin flame card, I'm gonna crap. Nope, nostalgia. You're looking back on your releasing things. You've had many lifetimes together. You have big dreams. When you two connect, it's going to be something you have never experienced before. To be able to understand each other on this level is profound. Profound. Okay, can we get some messages to close? I don't know if I get my... I'm going to get the... Um, you definitely are artistic. I'm going to get Starseed Oracles and I'm going to close this reading up. I'm going to wrap this up with some starseed oracles. These are all mixed up. Maybe you're feeling all mixed up as well. Okay, 
what messages do the divine masculine and divine feminine have for each other at this time ah freedom freedom from bondage of self man follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow vision trust your ability to create create the vision in your soul you are artistic on so many levels you are an earth guide here your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved to help humanity strength again with the lion energy you are being guided by the cosmos stay strong a positive outcome is assured gaia Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth, which was 369. She will guide you through this time of change. With that said, you are divine light. You are divine love. There is no separation. You are the divine spark. Okay, please don't forget that. That illusion is the 3D world. We are multidimensional beings having a temporary human experience. You are love and you are light. I am beyond the spectrum. Peace, love, and light.